Hello, I am Brett Laird with the White Sands Missile Range, ATEC, G2 Security Office. I am the Primary Command OPSEC Officer. However, all of the security specialists assigned to the G2 have the OPSEC Level 2 certification and serve as alternates on the program, so they should be able to answer any OPSEC-related questions or concerns you may have. I would like to take a few minutes of your time to discuss this very important security program. Please note that this video is specifically intended for WISMER ATEC employees. For OPSEC questions related to other tenant or installation organizations, contact your command OPSEC officer. My primary focus today will be to define OPSEC as a program and discuss two primary focus areas. First, the Critical Information List, or SIL, and second, how to protect information that may be on that SIL. So there are many definitions of the term OPSEC, but the one I prefer is a five-step systematic method used to identify, control, and protect critical information and subsequently our actions associated with military tests and operations and other activities. Basically protecting our information and activities from the bad guy. The two primary items within the five-step process that I will focus on are critical information and how we can protect it. Because at the end of the day, we are here for the warfighter and it is imperative that we protect the systems we perform test and evaluation on to ensure it makes it to the field without compromise. Step one, identifying a critical information list. Well, that is pretty much just what it sounds like. It is a list of information that is critical to our operations, or in our case, the operations of the systems that we support and test. Many of you have our SIL posters in your workplace and may have our small laminated purple SIL card in your wallet. But we have found that most people don't know why the SIL is so important. In general terms, the SIL is a list of critical but unclassified information that we must protect. I emphasize unclassified because OPSEC is predominantly designed to protect our unclassified information, whereas classified information has clearly defined marking and handling instructions managed through our information security or InfoSec program. Some military units have the ability to define their SIL to a specific item or items. As Wismer ATEC, we don't have that luxury because we support hundreds of programs from all branches of the military, defense contractors, and private industry. As such, our SIL is more general and covers categories of information as opposed to specifics. We are, however, responsible for enforcing the specific SIL of any program that we support. As a note, the SIL has been updated and we will not be reproducing the SIL card. Our intent is for this video and the posters to educate the workforce on the existence and the purpose of the SIL. This is the current version of the SIL. Please make sure that the current posters you have match this version and you review them regularly. It would be great if you printed an individual poster that you could have near your workspace, much, much like a bomb threat response sheet. The current poster contains the acronym Save Lives C. Associated with the first letter of each category, it no longer has the specific security specialist names at the base of the poster, and there is a large purple dragon in the middle of the poster. Steps two through four would be to identify our threats, vulnerabilities, and the overall risk to our information and operations. These steps are a continuous process that the counterintelligence and traditional security communities collaborate on. If the threat vulnerability or risk changes, the items on the SIL and the subsequent mitigations may be adjusted. adjusted. A disturbing fact is, up to 80% of an adversary's intelligence needs can be satisfied, mostly risk and cost-free, through open source locations such as the internet, trash, email, or social media. It is because of this fact that our final step, the protection of our critical information, may be the most important. So, how do we protect critical information? Through proper marking, handling, destruction, and distribution. Ensure your items that contain information identified on the SIL are marked correctly, primarily unclassified for official use only. Physically protect our critical information through proper storage, key and lock control, and the use of FOUO or classified cover sheets. Destroy all of our work product in an approved shredder. Control physical access to official workspaces. And probably the most important and most frequently disregarded protection, 
Avoid posting anything associated with test and evaluation or official events or locations on social media without prior approval from your supervisor, the public affairs office, and the OPSEC officer. In closing, when handling critical information, please make sure the, that you are attentive to all of these requirements. When in doubt, contact the Wismer ATEC G2 Security Office. Thank you.